The submarine is one of the most amazing inventions in human history, allowing us to explore the totally hostile depths of our oceans and even conduct underwater warfare. Most submarines are set up to record their environment these days with cameras. And they've been recording some of the freakiest stuff ever recently. From the genuine sea monster to the water spider you do not ever want to meet, here's the 20 most scary things found by submarines. <sighs> Number 20. Giant Squid Even though the giant squid is the biggest invertebrate in the world, scientists are still mystified by it. The largest of these elusive creatures to be found was 59 feet long and weighed roughly a ton. On the other hand, due to their hostile deep sea environment, study has proven to be incredibly challenging. Almost all that's known about them comes from the remains of animals that have washed up on beaches or been hauled in by fishermen. The investigation on these elusive species has only recently started, according to scientists. In 2004, Japanese scientists took the first images of a live giant squid. Scientists from Japan's National Science Museum captured and brought to the surface a live 24-foot-long female giant squid in late 2006. The 10-inch diameter eyes of giant squid are the largest in the animal kingdom. They can recognize objects in the dark where most other species wouldn't be able to see anything thanks to their large eyes. Like other squid species, they have eight arms and two bigger feeding tentacles to help them get food with their beak-like mouths. They probably eat fish, shrimp, and other squid, while some people think they could also hunt and eat smaller whales. They move their gigantic bodies using fins that seem to be rather little compared to their size. They move forward by forcing water through their funnel, which it sucks into the mantle or center of the organism, and propels it out the back. Giant squid carcasses have been found in every ocean in the world, despite the fact that scientists don't know enough about about these animals to determine where they reside. Before we go on, like this video, smash that subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Time for the rare topic. This sub-team decided to take on the scariest job of all time, exploring the Bermuda Triangle underwater. And while they were going through the wreckage of the ton of downed planes in the area, they looked up and caught this thing on camera. This submarine captures what no one was supposed to see. It was only there for a moment, but it sure looks creepy. Is it just a weird angle that makes it look human? Or is it some evil mermaid responsible for all those crashes? As always, comment down below with the hashtag rare topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Let's move on to the next one. Number 19. Underwater Spider Being the only species of known spider to spend its whole existence underwater makes the diving bell spider kind of a special spider. This spider lives entirely underwater, only sometimes coming to the surface to refuel on oxygen. It inhabits freshwater environments including ponds and lakes in Asia and Europe, and ranges from Great Britain to Japan, encompassing much of the entire region in between. One of the most inventive techniques for underwater breathing among all creatures is how the silk spider constructs a silk device that mimics a diving bell. The male of this species is larger than most spiders, despite the fact that the females produce larger diving bells, and researchers believe that the energy they may utilize for growth is now utilized to produce more complex silk constructions. Despite not being poisonous, the diving bell spider is said to have a bite that may be highly painful for people, occasionally resulting in inflammation and even vomiting or a moderate fever in the hours after the bite. Number 18. The Baltic Sea Anomaly A feature discovered by Swedish treasure hunters on the seafloor of the Baltic Sea is the headlines once more. The latest media attention is based on an hour-long radio interview with Ocean X team leader Peter Lindbergh, during which Lindbergh makes a number of titillating and cryptic claims about the strange and mysterious undersea items his team has been investigating for a year. He said on the radio, it has these very strange stair formations, as if it's man-made. It must have been built before the Ice Age tens of thousands of years ago. Around 20,000 years ago, the most recent Ice Age reached its height. He said, if this is Atlantis, it would be rather remarkable. Ancient mythology makes reference to the fabled underwater metropolis of Atlantis. Lindenberg acknowledges that the object may be a natural structure, like an underwater volcano or a meteorite that shattered during the Ice Age, but he gives the impression that specialists are baffled. Geologists have told him, he claims, that the object cannot be a volcano. Number 17. Apollo Engine 
Jeff Bezos, the creator of Amazon and a space entrepreneur, stated his intention to explore the depths not long after James Cameron's deep sea mission. Bezos wants to retrieve the F-1 engines that propelled the Saturn V rocket that sent the Apollo 11 moon landing mission into space. He recently claimed on his website that his team had retrieved the engines successfully. The engines, which were blasted from the Saturn V rocket when Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin went into space, were found 14,000 feet below the surface of the sea off the coast of Florida. The engines remain NASA property, and once Bezos returns them, he plans to donate them to a Seattle museum. He wants the final engines to have the naturally worn appearance of hardware that sat at the bottom of the ocean for decades after descending from the sky at 5,000 miles per hour, while the components are being repaired to reduce additional corrosion before being welded together. Number 16. The Antikythera Mechanism An archaeologist was looking over artifacts recovered from the wreckage of a 2,000-year-old ship off the Greek island of Antikythera a century and a half ago. Among the valuables recovered from the debris were a bronze figure of an old philosopher, exquisite vases and pots, diamonds, and a system of brass gears and dials encased in a cabinet the size of a mantel clock. Archaeologists named the device the Antikythera Mechanism. The brass that was found nearby the accident first gives off the appearance of something that belongs in a junkyard or on the wall of a dive bar with nautical decor. Now, all that remains of the contraption is a mess of rusty brass gears welded between two decaying wooden crates. A closer inspection reveals at least 20 gears that have been meticulously stacked on top of one another and tuned with Swiss watch perfection. This kind of technology is often dated to the 16th century, if not earlier by archaeologists. But there is still one question. Was the device necessary? The object was instantly identified by archaeologists as a clock, calendar, or calculator, but they couldn't tell which. For decades, they argued about whether the Antikythera was a miniature representation of the planets. Is the possibility that it was a simple astrolobe real? Derek J. DeSola Price, a scientific historian at Princeton, published the most thorough scientific analysis of the device to date in 1959. He came to the conclusion that the mechanism was used to predict where the planets and stars would appear in the sky based on the month after carefully examining the gears. The action of the smaller gears would represent the movements of the sun, moon, and planets, while a central gear would represent the length of the year. Number 15. Bimini Road The limestone blocks that make up the Bimini Road are primarily rectangular in form. While the majority of them appear to have been initially cut at right angles, the passage of time underwater has smoothed off their edges. While the two side roads contain smaller but similarly even blocks, the main road's blocks are between 10 and 13 feet long and 7 to 10 feet wide. The bigger blocks seem to be placed in size order and line up next to one another. Even some of them seem to be piled, as if intentionally supported. The road was initially unearthed in 1968 by divers, who called it pavement at the time. Then, what Joseph Manson Valentin, Jacques Moyal, and Robert Angove believed to be a long continuous rock was actually a linear arrangement of smaller stones, as they later learned. As they shared their find with other archaeologists, rumors started to spread that this route had not formed naturally. Many Atlantis enthusiasts and even some archaeologists have proposed that this may have been a route to Atlantis given the road's location and eerily flawless creation. Number 14. Mermaid Hand in the network's 17-year existence, Animal Planet attracted the biggest audience and it was also triggering a Twitter craze that's still going strong today. However, it was discovered that the Animal Planet documentary on mermaids was a fake, which will likely anger the program's record-breaking 3.6 million viewers. As a sequel to Mermaids, The Body Found from the previous year, Mermaids, The New Evidence featured scientist Dr. Paul Robinson returning with what was said to be brand new footage of the magical beings that was captured this spring in the Greenland Sea. It was so popular that it helped the network win the crucial 25 to 54 year old demographic and 1.5 million streams of mermaid related video were uploaded online after it aired. The blink and you'll miss it warning that the show was science fiction based on scientific theory that was placed at the conclusion of it on the other hand does not seem to have been noticed by those millions of viewers. 
The special documentary included a video of a purported mermaid sighting, in addition to an exclusive interview with a man who they said was a former scientist with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. However, both the scientist and the mermaid were fakes. The program even hinted at a cover-up of mermaid proof by the government, complete with a spin-off website that was purportedly seized by the Departments of Justice and Homeland Security. Number 13. Rare Sea Angel Spotted Off Russian Coast Amazing video of a creature that resembles an extraterrestrial swimming beneath the ice off of the Russian coast has surfaced. During a 2018 voyage to the White Sea, scientist and diver Alexander Semenov, 34, recorded the peaceful footage. The ice sparkles faintly beneath the light as it depicts what's known as a sea angel gently gliding over the black ocean. The amazing petropod mollusk known as the sea angel, or Cleon Lamassina, dwells in the water column, according to Alexander. As it evolved, the Cleon shed its shell and developed wings instead of the usual snail foot that gives this class of animals its name, petropods. He stated, The sea angel is one of the most beautiful swimmers in the invertebrate world. It beats its wings in a manner that's quite similar to a butterfly fluttering its wings slowly. Alexander is an authority on the stunning animals. He and his colleagues have been researching sea angel life cycles and behavior for seven years. They have a variety of hunting techniques. Some are ambush predators who wait for their prey, while others actively pursue it. Number 12. SpongeBob and Patrick Fish Looking Species Spotted in the Ocean An ocean expedition looking more than a mile below the surface of the Atlantic found a sponge that strikingly resembled SpongeBob SquarePants. And right next to it was a pink sea star that resembled Patrick, SpongeBob's dim-witted best friend. Christopher Ma was one of the scientists watching a live feed from a submersible that was launched from the NOAA ship Okeanos Explorer. He collaborates often with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration as a research associate at the National Museum of Natural History. He also has expertise in starfish. Ma tells reporters they're a dead ringer for the cartoon characters. He then pointed out the similarities in a photo of the two and shared it, which received a lot of attention. Someone thought it appropriate to include faces and legs. Ma thinks the creature's closeness is caused by something more than cooling down together underwater. Sponge is a preferred meal of sea stars. In all likelihood, the reason that the starfish is right next to that sponge is because that sponge is just about to be eaten, at least in part, he explains. Or maybe not. Ma asserts that the sponge's chemical defenses may account for its striking yellow color. In any event, he continues, the reality is a little crueler than perhaps the cartoon would suggest. Number 11. City of Dwarka Found Underwater The city of Dwarka, one of the seven holy pilgrimage sites in India, is significant both historically and religiously. The old form of the city, known in the epic Mahabharata as the Kingdom of Krishna, was a walled metropolis that stretched across about 84 kilometers at the confluence of the Gomti River and the Arabian Sea. The scripture claims that after Krishna's passing, the old city was submerged beneath the Arabian Sea. Archaeologists searched for tangible proof of the submerged city off the coast of present-day Dwarka in the second part of the 20th century in an effort to establish its existence beyond a reasonable doubt. As a result, several artifacts, including stone pillars and blocks have been found underwater. Nevertheless, it's still uncertain how old these discoveries actually are. Archaeologists are currently organizing an underwater excavation to hunt for the remains of the old city walls. Indian history will be greatly impacted if they can pinpoint the settlement's exact site. Number 10. Yellow Bricks Road the Road to Atlantis is a beautiful rock structure that was recently discovered and mimics the yellow brick road from The Wizard of Oz. The underwater road was discovered off the coast of Hawaii by deep sea explorers. They were searching for seamounts, which are submerged structures created by volcanic activity. According to a video posted by EV Nautilus on YouTube, the exploration vessel Nautilus crew discovered an interesting feature while doing research in the Liliuokalani Ridge of the Pacific Ocean. It's a component of the American Papaonau Mookuakea Marine National Monument. While live streaming their discoveries, the researchers were seen encountering a formation that appeared to be a brick path constructed by humans and had magnificent rectangular bricks. They jokingly speculated that the golden brick pathway they found at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean may be the road to Atlantis, a fictional island where an imperial empire once existed. When the team saw the structure, a researcher on the radio declared that it was the road to Atlantis. In response, a different scientist questioned if they meant the yellow brick road. Although it seems to be a golden brick road leading to the fictitious city of Atlantis, it's actually an example of ancient active volcano geology. They said the cobblestone-like pattern of fissures in the rock was probably the result of several volcanic eruptions throughout antiquity that produced repeating heating and cooling. 
Number 9. The Mariana Trench The Mariana Trench is a 1,550 mile long trench in the ocean floor that runs roughly halfway between Japan and Papua New Guinea in the Pacific Ocean. At 7 miles below sea level, or Challenger Deep, it's the deepest point on Earth. Mount Everest Peak would still be 1.2 miles below the surface if you dropped it in there. It goes without saying that the ocean pressure is fairly high down there. It takes a very tough submarine to withstand it, as well as a very tough submariner. And Victor Vekuvo currently holds the world record for both. He's now gone deeper than anyone in history, not content with having scaled the highest mountain on every continent. At the bottom of the trench, what did he discover? Other sea species, such as snailfish and various creatures that resemble more than blobs. Oh, and he also discovered a plastic bag there. Several candy bar wrappers as well. So, it's just your typical 7-Eleven, basically. Number 8. USS Johnson Shipwreck, Deepest Known Shipwreck the USS Johnson, which perished in the Battle of Layet Gulf, has been positively identified after spending nearly 77 years undisturbed on the Pacific Ocean floor. The wreckage is the deepest ever found, laying more than 20,000 feet below the surface, according to Naval History and Heritage Command. The Vulcan Incorporated research vessel Petrel discovered the remains of a Fletcher-class destroyer on the brink of an underwater cliff on October 2019, but the ship's identification remained unknown until recently. The ship has now been located using photos from the undersea technology business Caledon Oceanic, run by veteran military commander Victor Vescovo. On October 25, 1944, the battleship was destroyed in the Battle of Samar, part of the wider, more drawn-out battle of the Layet Gulf. According to their planning documents, the Japanese were only looking for a fitting place to die because the fate of the war had already been decided. Despite having superior technology, American arrogance, particularly that of Admiral Bill Halsey, allowed for a Japanese force, which included six heavy cruisers, two light cruisers, 11 destroyers, four battleships, and the super battleship Yamoto, to capture unaware American troops. Admiral Chester Nimitz, commander of the Pacific Fleet, sent Halsey a rare, scathing letter from Hawaii in order to make sense of what happened. This letter would go on to become one of the most well-known in naval history. Number 7. Massive Siphonophore Found Underwater It's a siphonophore, sometimes known as the long, stringy, stringy thing, which looks to be one animal but actually thousands of tiny animals. These are referred to as zooids, in which each creature in the colony serves a distinct purpose, such as luring prey, reproducing, or protecting the colony against them. Despite the fact that scientists have known about them for a long time, new video from an expedition off the coast of Western Australia, published by the Schmidt Ocean Institute, reveals the length of the siphonophore's gigantic tentacles. The siphonophore's outer ring was estimated to be 49 feet in diameter. Therefore, that ring alone looks to be roughly 154 feet, the scientist said in response to a question regarding size on Twitter. There are relationships between temperature and several zooid sizes. Number 6. Dying Coral Reef 2,600 miles southwest of Hawaii, on the Samoan island of Upolu, researchers looked at 124 coral reef locations. Global coral die-offs are mostly caused by climate change, and human activities like overfishing and pollution are huge contributors. In contrast to places like the Great Barrier Reef, the researchers believe that the reefs near distant Upolu could be doing better. They instead discovered that the coral was severely harmed and dying. Live coral coverage was less than 1% in 50% of the locations investigated, and less than 10% in 80% of the sites. The coverage may have ranged from 60 to 80% just two years ago. Additionally, two kinds of fish discovered in the reefs were 10% smaller than the fish found in surrounding adjacent islands. According to the researchers, the coral's precarious state is caused by a mix of local activity, climate change, and physical harm from tropical storms. Even though they only make up roughly half of France's land area, they're home to at least 25% of all marine species, including fish, mollusks, worms, crustaceans, echinoderms, sponges, tourniquets, and other cnidarians. In ocean conditions with limited nutrients, coral reefs thrive. Coral reefs can be found on a lesser scale in deep water and cold water, although they're most frequently seen at shallow depths and tropical environments. Due in part to their sensitivity to ocean conditions, coral reefs have fallen by 50% since 1950. They're threatened by excessive nutrients, rising ocean temperatures, and acidification, overfishing, from methods including blast fishing, cyanide fishing, and spear fishing while wearing scuba gear, sunscreen use, and detrimental land use practices. Number 5. Creepy Creatures That Feast on Dead Whales 
A dead whale in the deep water is serving as an unexpected feast for marine creatures. From tiny crimson worms to an eerie fleet of octopuses, there's no peaceful slumber for a dead whale. It becomes an immediate meal in a hostile environment that's essentially a food desert, devoid of any sustenance, as soon as its enormous body dives to the ocean floor. It's a sudden and unexpected feast for the hungry critters who call that place home. King said that a dead whale can provide the energy to provide nourishment for a hundred years in one go. Deep sea organisms typically feed the microscopic marine snow that drifts from the upper seas, such as shell pieces, feces, and dead plankton. However, according to studies initially carried out in 1988 by a group of researchers at the University of Hawaii, led by Craig Smith, a corpse, known as a whale fall, produces a rich and spontaneous ecosystem unto itself. Along the widely used migratory routes like in the California coast, there are probably hundreds of thousands of these whale fall carcasses. However, their degeneration, biology's disappearing act, is seldom ever seen. The Nautilus crew didn't search for whales. It was investigating the Davidson Seamount, a geological formation, on its last dive of this season this year. This underwater mountain, which is roughly 70 miles off the coast of Monterey, rises nearly 7,000 feet above the bottom and is the aquatic equivalent of Donner's Summit. For human divers, the seamount is too deep and hazardous. The temperature hovers about 34 degrees Fahrenheit, which is virtually freezing, and there's constant darkness. The water pressure is also bone crushing. Number 4. The Long Arm Squid It has large flapping fins that dwarf its head, a body that bobbles through the murky water, and thin blue tentacles that trail behind it like neon spaghetti. It also has the appearance of an extraterrestrial. The mysterious big fin squid, although having an unearthly look, may be more prevalent than previously thought in the Earth's deep waters. The big fin squid has only been observed in the wild 12 times worldwide in the 113 years since its discovery. Five recent sightings have all been taken thousands of feet below the surface of the Great Australian Bight in South Australia. Not only have big fin squid never before been spotted in Australian seas, but five of them have also never before been discovered congregating in one location. According to senior study author Deborah Osterhog, the video gives an unparalleled view at the strange cephalopod's anatomy and behavior. It was shot by underwater cameras trailing behind a big research vessel. The first big fin squid specimen was discovered by scientists in 1907 and was obtained by fishermen close to Portugal. Before someone finally caught a glimpse of one swimming, 15,535 feet under the surface of the coast of Brazil in 1988, it took more than 80 years. The squid stands out because of its enormous fins, which protrude from its body like Dumbo the elephant's ears. Osterhage said that big fins move through the water by flapping their enormous fins, which are as wide as the squid's upper body, or mantle is long. Number 3. Squid Graveyard The environment in our seas is weird and unique. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration asserts that fewer than 5% of the ocean has been investigated up to this point. That means that 95% of the vast, unexplored expanse remains hidden from human sight. A strange occurrence involving the deep water squid population in the Gulf of California can't be undone, but it may result in more illuminating findings. The first squid graveyard was discovered by researchers at the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute off the coast of the Gulf of California. The squids perish after a frantic breeding cycle. The dead squid served as an underground smorgasbord for other marine life like starfish, ratfish, acorn worms, sea cucumbers, and crabs. The majority of the squid are devoured within a 24-hour period, while the other water life feasts on the squid feast, which is what makes the graveyard so remarkable to biologists, as squid carcasses are rarely observed. In fact, because the carry-on of tiny animals vanishes so rapidly, scientists know nothing about it. The beginnings of this investigation could hold the key to understanding how people affect the water. These deep sea these squids lead mysterious lifestyles that are unknown to us. Number 2. Huge ice fish colony of 60 million nests found on Antarctic seabed. The ice-covered Weddell Sea in Antarctica is home to a breeding colony of 60 million fish, an unusual and hitherto unrecognized ecosystem that occupies a space the size of Malta. The amazing discovery demonstrates how little is understood about the ocean's depths. The impressive ice fish, which has a see-through head and translucent blood, lives in the massive colony, which is thought to be the largest in the entire globe. 
The only vertebrates without red blood cells are ice fish. It evolved an anti-freeze protein in its translucent blood that prevents ice crystals from forming in order to survive at such low temperatures. The breeding colony was found in February 2021, while being surveyed by the German Antarctic research ship Polistern, which was traveling approximately half a kilometer below the surface of the water. It made use of a car-sized camera system mounted on the ship's stern that sent images up to the deck as it's being towed. The nests, which stood out from the muddy bottom by a circle of stones, were a surprise because the mission was intended to study ocean currents. Four further camera dives showed the breeding colony's extraordinary expansion and stunning uniformity. According to the experts, the colony spans more than 93 square miles. They calculated that the colony has roughly 60 million active nests, with one nest on average for every three square meters. Number 1. Alien-looking creature drifting past ROV camera at over 7,000 feet near ocean floor. Off Africa's east coast, this film was captured by a remotely operated vehicle. It shows a crazy purple jellyfish. One single species of Pelagia noctilica, a jellyfish in the family Pelagidae, is currently identified. It also goes by the name purple stinger, purple people eater, purple jellyfish, luminous jellyfish, and nightlight jellyfish. Other common names are purple striped jelly and purple stinger. Pelagia is a Greek word that translates to she of the sea, coming from the Latin word noctilica, which combines the Latin words nox, which means night, and lux, which means light. So lady nightlight of the sea, basically. This is a marine creature that has the capacity to glow in the dark. It may be found in tropical and warm temperate oceans all around the world. Despite the fact that it's believed that data from areas beyond the North Atlantic, such as the Mediterranean and the Gulf of Mexico, reflect closely similar but unidentified species. What kinds of creepy things do you think are down in the ocean? Have you ever found anything weird in the water? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.